Gordon Margaret, I too want to, on behalf of the Rural Independent Group, thank, um, praise the students. And my motto is Mola Noge or the Chucky Sheet. And that being, I'd like to welcome students from Skibbereen Community School who are in the gallery here today, with Deputy Collins and colleagues are up today. And to say that students, especially rural students, are suffering greatly. And very little happened in the budget for them. We accept the payments that you announced, but the travel, the accommodation costs, and tuition fees, and putting on families. Those who are looking against uh, Susie grants have some helps, but those who aren't, and they squeeze middle again on cart. They don't, uh, they don't get, get uh, allowances. Their income is over the limits for the Susie. And uh, students need our support. They're our future of this country. And to have them to come out today at 11, 11, 11 years you're in government, yes, and you've some legacy left after them, but please, please, as I said, mull on all year, I'll chuck his sheet, and support them, and don't just say you're hearing them. Do something positive for them, because they are our future. Thank you. Thanks, thanks very much, Deputy, and want to join you in welcoming the students here from Skibbereen, a uh, really fine town, had the chance to visit uh, a few months ago, and uh, you're most welcome on your visit to Dublin, Dublin here today. Um, what are we doing to, to help students? Um, a 1,000 euro reduction in the student fee, uh, 500 permanent reduction um, kicking in for next year. Um, bear in mind what student fees are in Northern Ireland, for example, 5,000 euros a year. Uh, just contrast that, for example, uh, as to what we're doing here. The first decrease in 27 years. Uh, the student grant being increased, a 10% increase uh, in January, a one-off payment before Christmas, um, making the Student Susie grant available to more people, the 15,000 more students will qualify for it next year, and a change in the adjacency rates, which you will understand as a rural deputy how important that is, uh, giving people a bigger grant if they have to travel a larger distance, a 50% reduction in public transport, as well as more investment in purpose-built student accommodation. These aren't small interventions, these are significant, uh, it will make a difference in people's lives, but it's not the end of our response, deputy, there will be more, provided the country can afford to pay for it.